My SAE is working with nine cow-calf pairs that I run on a rotational grazing operation. On top of that, I recently purchased a co-ownership and a registered Sim Angus bull, and I purchased an Angus heifer, which I plan to incorporate into my herd. On top of that, last summer, I purchased half of eight cow-calf pairs with my cousin and sold them uh, as resale and cull cows later that fall. In my animals, uh, basing it off of my father's herd and transitioning it over into mine, I primarily look at fertility rates and uh, the docility in the cattle. Having calm cattle, considering that I rotate them, um, I have to have very calm cattle and ones that I can work with easily. Um, now I'm starting to look more at EPDs of whether I'm buying a bull or a cow that I can use to uh, have the desired genetic traits that I want in my herd. I've been involved in livestock judging, which has helped me quite a bit in my cattle operation, knowing which ones I should choose, which one I shouldn't choose, and the traits that I'm looking for. My SAE is B Production Entrepreneurship. I have 15 head of cattle, uh, one registered Angus bull, four registered Angus uh, cows, and the remaining are going to be commercial um, Angus cows. I've um, been shopping around. It took me a while to find the right bull that I wanted. It's a uh, new design bull. He's really good in um, yearling and weaning weights, and then he's going to be a low birth weight, so I don't have any uh, problems calving. And then he's high in calving ease, so it's really smooth going calving out um, these cows. I rent 160 acres of pasture grass from my father that I run these cattle on. And then on the other side of that, I also raise my own feed bales to feed my cows. Um, I rent 40 acres of pasture, cropland from my dad that I can raise this feed on. I also have had a surplus of feed bales in 2013 and 2014. So I went ahead and sold my surplus feed bales to my brother, who's also in the um, cattle business, and my father, who's also in the cattle business, both years at market value. I currently have 62 mama cows, um, 22 replacement heifers from uh, my herd this year, and 31 steers that I'm feeding out right now. I rent a pasture from my dad that they're at right now and then I will switch them to another pasture when we wean um, the calves off of them. When I feed my cattle a TMR ration and uh, we grow all of our own feed which I purchased the feed from my dad which he runs feeder cattle. Usually in around September pull the calves off and wean them and pull all the steers off and put them in a feedlot. And then I'll sort through the heifers, find the best replacement ones. And if any uh, of the heifers don't make the cut, and then they go into the feedlot as well. My program has really progressed since I've started. Um, the herd's grown quite a bit, and just using new genetics and stuff with the bulls and getting the most out of our calves when they're born has really improved since when I've started. My SAE is mainly consists of a cow-calf operation. At this point I have seven cows, five heifers, which are calving at this moment. I also have four breeding heifers and three steers. The steers are in the feedlot. Um, I background feed them. When my SAE started my freshman year, I started with three cows, and I've grown to up to 52 cows up to my junior year which due to lack of grass and investment in others, I've sold off down to the numbers I have. Also work hand in hand with my dad and brother on a family farm doing all operations, including planting, drilling, spraying. Um, also do harvest, um, do some custom harvest with my dad during the summer. I'm a full-time employee during the summer. I work part-time after school and on the weekends. The skills I've developed that help me the most on the farm is I like to be a handyman. I, there's not much I can't do. I've done electrical and plumbing and carpentry and welding and I uh, drive feed trucks. So I can do all I can do all the equipment that we farm with. So I can do about anything. Uh, right now, my uh, SAE is uh, based of uh, 63 uh, head of uh, cows and heifers that are um, mostly an Angus-based breed. Uh, I have uh, two two red Angus bulls that I uh, currently have bought from a couple of producers locally from Washington. Which I started my SAA when I was a uh, freshman in high school. I uh, first went to the bank to uh, 
purchase a loan to buy eight head of heifers that I uh, calved out that spring and uh, had a, a pretty successful year at doing that. And then that next year with the uh, money that I grew from the first time, I uh, went back and purchased another loan for 20 head of heifers that I uh, calved out that year and uh, uh, had a really good success through uh, the t first two years. So I uh, kept growing in my knowledge and wisdom with uh, uh, working with heifers and cows and uh, got that third year through. So this last year, uh, I went back to the bank with all the uh, money and equity that I had built up over the last uh, three years and uh, purchased a uh, loan for 40 head of heifers that I am currently uh, calving out now. YSAE is diversified crop production, entrepreneurship, and what I do is I share crop on a two-thirds, one-third split of, with my grandpa of dry land, and I farm corn, wheat, and double crop beans. I have 126 acres, that's what I started out with. Um, one of the things I've really been working on is to increase the productivity of those 126 acres. Growing up and working hand in hand with my mom and dad, they really uh, showed me, uh, they really gave me a goal of a type of person to be in my, in my future. And then uh, when I was younger, I took all those experiences I had, and during my SAE, I really got to kind of try that out on my own and apply those experiences. I definitely matured in my decision-making skills and just being able to uh, actually run a farming operation on my own. Um, you know, this is, what, this is what I want my future to be. Uh, my plans are to major in ag technology management with double minors in ag econ and agronomy at Kansas State University. And after those uh, four years at Kansas State, I'm planning to return to the family farm and farm with my parents and my brother.